The Israeli Defense Force has earned a reputation as one of the most formidable military organizations in the world. Despite its relatively small size and limited resources compared to other global powers, the Israeli Defense Force has consistently proven itself capable of defending Israel against numerous threats and emerging victorious in conflicts. The Israeli Defense Force's success can be attributed to a combination of factors. In this video, we'll take a look at six decisive battles from each of Israel's wars. Let's start the video. Operation Yavuzi in Jerusalem, 1948. In 1947, the UN's decision to partition Palestine led to Operation Yavuzi during the 1948 War of Independence. With Jerusalem in turmoil and Jewish neighborhoods isolated, the Haganah, precursor to the Israeli Defense Force, made a bold move to secure their survival. They shifted from defense to offense, launching Operation Yavuzi to connect the disconnected Jewish areas by conquering the Arab neighborhoods in between. This operation initially failed but succeeded in capturing the strategically vital hill of San Simon, strengthening the Jewish position. Operation Yavuzi taught a crucial lesson. When facing adversity, the only choice for the Israeli Defense Force was to take the offensive, a strategy that would define Israel's military approach for years to come. The Sinai War, 1956 The 1956 Sinai War, particularly the Mitla Pass battle, holds historical significance in Israel's history. Prompted by Gamal Abdel Nasser's Suez Canal nationalization and blockade of Israeli access to the Straits of Turan, Israel pursued an unconventional strategy. Rather than traditional warfare, they initiated a paratrooper drop near Mitla Pass, disrupting Egyptian supply routes. Subsequent operations secured a swift victory in just nine days. Mitla Pass marked a turning point, highlighting Israel's strategy of outsmarting adversaries through audacious, logic-defying maneuvers. This approach set Israel apart, emphasizing cunning over sheer force, ultimately leading to success in the face of formidable challenges. Operation Moat, 1967 In 1967, amidst escalating tensions in the Middle East, Israel faced a dire threat as Egypt, backed by Jordan and Syria, closed the Straits of Tehran, ousted UN peacekeepers from Sinai, and massed troops at its borders. In response, Israel launched Operation Moat, recognizing air superiority's pivotal role. Israeli jets infiltrated Egyptian airspace, crippling their air force, swiftly gaining control of the skies. Jordan and Syria joined Egypt, but Israel's dominance systematically weakened their air forces. Within hours, Israel had complete aerial control, enabling its ground forces to reclaim territory in six days. Operation Moat showcases Israel's strategic brilliance in adapting and securing its survival against formidable odds. Operation Ryman 20, 1967-1970 Operation Ryman 20 occurred during the war of attrition between Israel and Egypt, which followed the Six-Day War. Egypt, aligned with the Soviet Union during the Cold War, received Soviet assistance, leading to a confrontation with Israel. In this battle, Israel executed a daring ambush of Soviet fighter jets. On July 30, 1970, Israeli jets lured Soviet planes into a trap by flying in a tight formation, creating the illusion of a single aircraft. Then, additional Israeli jets joined, resulting in a close-quarters dogfight that downed five Soviet planes while Israel suffered no losses. This confrontation escalated Cold War tensions and led to a ceasefire eight days later, effectively ending the war of attrition. The operation demonstrated Israel's ability to achieve decisive victories against larger adversaries through innovative tactics. The Valley of Tears from Yom Kippur War, 1973 during the holiest Jewish holiday, Yom Kippur, in 1973, Israel was blindsided by a surprise attack from Egypt and Syria. Egypt invaded from the south, and Syria sent a massive tank force to the Golan Heights in the north. Outnumbered and desperate, Israeli tank units barely held off total collapse, facing Syrian forces five times their size. With depleted forces, communication challenges, and dwindling ammunition, the Israeli tanks resorted to an audacious bluff, holding their ground. Surprisingly, the Syrian forces started to retreat, marking a pivotal moment known as the Valley of Tears. This hard-fought victory prevented the Golan from falling into enemy hands. The Siege of Beirut in Lebanon War, 1982 
The siege of Beirut in 1982 during the Lebanon War was a pivotal event for the Israeli Defense Force. Israel aimed to push back the Palestine Liberation Organization and establish a buffer zone. However, they found themselves embroiled in a complicated Lebanese civil war, allying with the Christian Lebanese Forces Militia. The Israeli Defense Force laid a seven-week siege on Beirut instead of entering urban combat, but this led to a disastrous massacre of Palestinians and Lebanese Shias in the Sabra and Shafila refugee camps by Christian Lebanese militias allied with Israel. Israel eventually achieved its goal but faced two more decades of guerrilla attacks and international condemnation. In short, the Israeli Defense Force's secret sauce to success is a unique blend of adaptability, intelligence, elite units, and rigorous training. These factors, when combined, make the Israeli Defense Force a formidable military force. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, I'm pretty sure you will like this one.